All right, in this scene, we're going to talk about herb palsy, okay? So before we get to this fun stuff that's going on over here, let's take a look at this tree over here. So herb palsy is caused by a traction or tear of the upper trunk, due, for example, to direct wounds or anything that severely stretches the upper trunk, okay? So we have this knife going through the upper trunk over here. I'm not exactly sure how this knife got here, but just keep that in mind. Now, we chose a knife specifically because in adults, this is due to trauma, whereas in infants, this is actually due to lateral traction of the neck during delivery. And hence, we have this tree over here actually giving birth to another tree. To help us remember that in infants, it's due to lateral traction on neck during delivery. Okay, let's talk about the deficits. So it's going to affect three important muscles that we want to be aware of. Over here, we see a toad, a toad that's on a Dell computer, a toad that's on a Dell computer. That was remember the deltoid. The deltoid is affected. And since the deltoid is responsible for abduction, there's gonna, the arm is going to hang by the side. The patient's not going to be able to abduct. And that's why this arm is just by the side, not like up like the other one. Then we note over here this infrared thing, this infrared like machine thing on a spine. So that was remember the infraspinatus. Infraspinatus is responsible for lateral rotation, and thus there's going to be a decreased lateral rotation, and the arm will remain medially rotated. And finally, here we have the biceps on the bicycles. The bicycles are just to help us remember we're talking about the biceps, but the biceps brachii will also be affected. And since biceps brachii are responsible for flexion and supination, the arm is going to remain extended and pronated. And that's why, if you look at this guy over here, he's got all three of these things. He's got an arm by his side, he's got the arm medially rotated, and his arm is extended and pronated. And this is why Herb's palsy causes what is known as waiter's tip deformity. And that's why he's got a tip in his hand, the money tip, remember? Waiter's tip deformity. All right, thank you so much for watching this scene.